Hey, welcome back to the Logic Studio Training Beginner Series. I'm Graham English, and today we'll be talking about navigating Logic Pro and how to move around your projects quickly. And I'll apologize at the outset here for any traffic noise that may bleed through. It is rush hour in the city, and I don't have the best soundproofing, so thanks for understanding. Um, let's look down here at the bottom of the Arrange window. I've shown you this before in a previous tutorial. This is called our Transport. It has obvious buttons for navigating Logic Pro, such as Stop, Play, Pause, Record, Rewind and Forward, things that you're probably used to if you've ever operated a CD player, tape player, or depending how old you are, reel-to-reel -reel and record players. There's another way we can get a Transport. If we go up to Window, and select transport or its key command of Apple 7 or command 7 this brings up a floating transport for you to use let's say you don't have the arrange window open but you have uh, you're working in the environment or an editor well this is one way that you can get up a transport and start you know navigating your project that way and this is probably the easiest thing for you to do if you want to hit stop play and record is just use the transport so you don't need to know everything just know the transport and you'll be able to navigate Logic Pro but there are obviously more powerful ways to zip around the arrange window and uh, parts of your project and I'm going to show some of those to you now one of them is the bar ruler right up here we have the bar ruler and if you double click on any area of the bottom section here here's the top section here's the bottom section if we double click it'll start playing from where we double clicked so watch this okay and that's pretty cool and we can drag our playhead anywhere we want and then once we stop we can start playing from that position so you can use this bar ruler to navigate and get to wherever you want to go to and start playback from a certain position another thing we can do with the bar ruler here is hit cycle record so let's say I want to cycle between uh, this chorus right here so if I drag I've now created a cycle record and if I hit play let's hit play it's going to go back to the beginning of that cycle, that left locator, and it's going to record from there. Now when it goes to the end of the cycle, it's going to automatically go back to the beginning. So it's a way of looping. Say you want to record multiple takes and you want to just try things over and over again. You just turn it on cycle mode, hit record, and you'll record multiple takes. And uh, we'll talk about creating take folders and stuff down the road, but it's one way for you to record over and over again. It might also be useful for you to, if you're mixing and you want to listen to the chorus over and over again and try out different uh, EQ settings, cycle mode is something you'll work with a lot. You also have the option of doing this in reverse. So if I take, watch what happens now, that left locator, drag it to the beginning of the verse, what's going to happen if I start playing right here, it's going to skip that area. So this very, it's very useful if you're trying out different arrangements and you want to find out what would it sound like if I skip this section and we didn't have it in there. You can create a skip area right there and try it out. So all I have to do is click it and that turns it off. You can also drag these. So watch if I, it becomes a hand, I can move this and say, let's skip verse 2 or let's skip the second chorus. There you go. Let's... uh bring it back to a cycle mode and there you have it so you've got cycle and skip record so these are awesome ways to navigate your project and skip sections and repeat sections one of the most powerful shortcuts that you'll use I imagine if you use cycle mode a lot is hitting the C key just hit C turns it on turns it off so that's a shortcut you'll want to remember now let's find some other ways of navigating your project and this is going to be a little bit advanced but not too much I'm going to show you the key commands window by hitting option K that pulls up our key commands and you'll see I've got play in the search bar here and that brings up every command that has the word play in it so you'll see play 
That one already has a key command associated to it. Player stop, the space bar, that's a key command. You can also create other key commands. You can see that the ones that don't have keys associated to them, you can create them. So there's all kinds of different ways to start playing in Logic Pro. And you can you know, really customize Logic to work with you and how you like to do things. And if you have a keyboard that's set up a certain way, you can modify it to fit your needs. You can also search for stop. And you'll find other ways of stopping the project. So this is just basic stop. Um, stop and stop or play from last position. Play or stop and go to last. Stop and go to left locator. Um, stop and go to last locate. That's already a key command. So you can create a whole bunch of these as well. Now let's look at rewind and forward. So rewind is the comma. And if I hit the comma while the arrange window is selected, watch what happens. You'll see it goes back by bar. Now fast rewind, shift and comma, you see it goes back by multiple bars. So that's something to know. And if we want to look at forward, you'll see that's period. So make sure the arrange window is selected. If I hit period, it goes by bar. And this will happen even if you're playing. If you're playing and hit period or uh, comma, it'll automatically go to the next bar or previous bar. Now if I hit shift period, it goes multiple bars, eight bars. So this is another way that you can navigate logic and you know move fast eight bars at a time or move uh, slowly uh, a single bar at a time. And this is just a little trick for you to you know spend a little bit of time searching um, you know other ways of, of recording. Oops. Record just by hitting R. Record toggle Shift and R. There's a capture as recording. So all of these as R will capture you, the last thing that you did as a recording. If you had forgotten to hit record and the project was playing and you laid down something that was pretty awesome, if you hit those button, it'll, buttons, it'll capture that last take as recording. And I'll, I'll talk more about that particular function in, in more advanced tutorials, but it's nice to know that it's there. And this key commands uh, window will show you all kinds of things that are under the hood that, that you maybe hadn't thought of using and um, you can start experimenting with them. So check out that key commands window. If you're really serious about becoming a Logic Studio Power user, drop what you're doing and head to logicstudiotraining.com. We've got hours of Logic Studio tutorials for beginners like you've seen here and some really advanced stuff to take your music to the next level. See you there.